Deadpool and Wolverine is finally here, and I've gotten to see it already. I'm excited. Uh, this is this this is the movie I've been. I I haven't been this excited for a movie to come out since Spider-Man No Way Home, and I've I've skipped. I haven't listened to any of the rumors. I didn't listen to any of the the trailer. Or I, I watched a couple of the trailers. Obviously, you know you can't avoid it sometimes. Um, but I didn't listen to any of the rumors. I didn't listen. I, I, did, I stayed away as much as possible to watch this movie as blind as possible. And I finally saw it. Uh, technically, last night I wanted to before I actually uh, put out a review. I wanted to kind of think about it a little bit more before um, putting one out there because. Um, when you like coming out of the theater, you know you're kind of you're really all hyped up, and it's like you know with all the cameos and all the all the things that happened, you know all that excitement. And I just wanted to let it cool down a little bit before I got a review out. So that's why it's coming out today because uh, I saw it last night on Thursday night opening opening night. So um, let's talk about it all completely spoiler free here today. I will have a spoiler discussion coming out. Uh, maybe about a week or two from now, I've got some other Deadpool-related content coming out. I've uh, I made a couple of discussions about uh, Deadpool and Deadpool 2. It's already on the, on the channel. And also, I'll be talking about the Deadpool video game. And later on, I have an X-Men ranking um, that I already recorded as of this video. And will be coming out sometime in the next few weeks as well. So there's a lot of stuff Deadpool-related coming out. So if you guys want to see more Deadpool videos, you guys can check those out already. But let's get into the Deadpool and Wolverine discussion. And the one thing I can say is I definitely really liked this movie. If there's one thing you want to take away from uh, from this review is that I would say this movie is on par with the other two Deadpool movies. So if you really like those, dead, those other two Deadpool movies, you can stop the video right here and just it's it's about it's as it's about as good as those it's it's all like so they're on they're all on the same level to me uh, i don't know exactly know exactly how to rank them um and how much i enjoyed each one of them um just because they're so they're all so close together so if you want to hear a little bit more uh continue watching but at, at least at the very least know that and then you can uh, you can move on but um, for some uh, other details, um, so yeah, I didn't I didn't know about any of the cameos going into the movie, so I did have quite a few surprises in there. Um, there was a lot. There was it was a lot of fun. The movie was a lot of fun. The Deadpool and Wolverine, um, like their pairing was a lot of fun, especially considering you know of course like you know that there's going to be fight scenes between Deadpool and Wolverine, and it's brutal because. They can they have the healing factor so they can be stabbing each other all over the place and and just go, like they can go balls to the walls, you know, and do whatever they want to do because the characters can heal from it. Uh, except for you know obviously they don't they, they don't they don't chop off any limbs or anything like that. But you know that's whatever. Um, so yeah, and I think uh, one question people are probably going to ask is does will this movie save the MCU? And I say no because this movie really isn't part of the MCU. It's it's a Deadpool movie. This isn't a this is not a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. It's a Deadpool movie. This builds off the other Deadpool movies. It builds off the X-Men movies and it takes and it brings in a little bit of the MCU into it. But that's it's primarily a Deadpool movie. This isn't an MCU movie. And that's why it, it it's not going to do uh it's not going to be the 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 linchpin to save Marvel. This movie is it's kind of it's the end of the Deadpool trilogy, and maybe, I mean, as of now, at the very least, um, I can't say anything about future stuff because I don't know anything about future stuff. But uh, I I can say at, at the very least that this is a very much a Deadpool movie that is more in the line of X Men and whatnot. So. It's not going to be. Don't be expecting all of the uh, all of the Marvel universe stuff. It's it's more of, it's more X Men than Marvel. Let me put it that way. Um, the other thing to note is that um, it doesn't hold back on like all the Deadpool stuff, right? Like he's still making all his fourth wall fourth wall breaking, his crude jokes, uh, all the swearing. It's all in there. 
And on top of that, he's also making fun of Disney on top of that all. So like there's like there it does not feel at all like Disney has reined him in and is like, oh you gotta make it you gotta make it safer or whatever. More on more on Disney brand. It's not that at all. Um Ryan Reynolds is able to like they're able to go for it. And I think this might be the most fun version of Wolverine I've seen because He's it's you can get him you've got him in rated R material now, but instead of having like what it was in Logan, which was just old guy old man Logan who was just kind of grumpy and whatever, this is like a much more aggressively or a much more aggressive lo, uh, version of Wolverine, who um who like will like swear cuss and all that stuff. So that's in he he plays like a much more of a straight man. So he kind of pairs really well. If you've seen some of the marketing material, you kind of get it, right? Um, the difference with uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, I would say the one movie um, I would recommend watching um, that I don't, I wouldn't say it's a spoiler, but I would recommend watching Logan beforehand um, because Logan was a like the, the, the end of Wolverine. Um, you have to address it, and uh, and they it. It's in there, you know, a decent amount. So I'd probably recommend watching Logan. If you haven't seen Logan, you know, maybe you want to watch it. Uh, if you have seen it, I don't know, maybe give it a little bit of a rewatch. Um, I don't think there's not really, I wouldn't say there's really a lot of details that's like you absolutely need to know. But uh, and, the, and if you haven't seen, if you can't see Logan and, you, and you're like, you know, I can't see Logan you know, right now or whatever, it's not entirely necessary because they explain everything for you. So um, either way, it's, it all kind of works really the more Marvel projects you've seen, the more you'll understand. That's kind of really the what I'll throw out there. Um, the more stuff you've seen, the more, um, and I can't, yeah, I can't go into any more detail about that, but um, yeah, is this, is this gonna be my favorite movie of the year? No. Um, Dune Part 2 just was, it was just, it was just way too good. Um, I do have a little, I do have a little bit of problems with the plot. Um, kind of the same, same kind of issues I had with Deadpool 2, where it was a little bit, uh, it didn't quite achieve what it was wanting to do with like the emotional aspect and trying to go a little bit more complex, but um, it's still a very, very, very fun movie and it is very entertaining. So I'd recommend going to see this one. Um, and if you guys want to see any more reviews like this, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.